How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. We have the Colombian CDM from Bournemouth. It is Jefferson Lerma and his foot swap item that costs you six foot swap tokens. So, lads, in terms of today's review, you maybe asked for it once, twice, I don't know, three times maybe. Um, yeah, who am I kidding, lads? You asked for it thousands of times. So, today we're going to review them, and what I want from you guys is for you, and you guys know this already, bring the hype and smash the hell out of that thumbs up button on this video let's aim for 1000 likes for foot swap jefferson lerma that would be amazing and lads um if you're not subscribed to the channel footmas should be starting very very soon uh, subscribe to the channel i'm gonna have so much content out over footmas it'll um It'll fill you up for Christmas Day, so you won't have your Christmas dinner, and maybe that's what I should do. But, so much content coming out over Footmas that, that you will enjoy, so subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel already. And in the case of uh, Jefferson Lerma, he's playing CDM alongside Makalele. Could this be one of the better partnerships on FIFA 19? That's what we're going to find out today. We have a 4 2 3 1 system, and lads, let's just get into it. So here we go, like I mentioned, six foot swap tokens, and there are other foot swap items available from like the lasagna, I think it costs like four foot swap items, so, uh, tokens or cards, whatever you want to call them, foot swap items, I should say, and um, yeah, you've got like the Gamiero and someone else that I can't quite put my finger on, but since they came out, uh, I thought it wasn't the greatest selection of players, and I looked at Jefferson Lerman, and I thought, you know what, medium to high work rates, four star week for some amazing in game stats, He's going to be the player, Kazawa, Kazawa's the other one, I was, I was thinking Kazawa or Lerma, and uh, yeah, obviously I have went Jefferson Lerma, as you can see on your screen, he's got a 4 star week, but like I did mention, 3 star skill moves, and medium to high workers, now he is 5 foot 10, some of you might think that's a little bit small, but as you can see, 88 jump, and it didn't seem to matter with the card, he was alright in the air, and uh, yeah, he was good in that department, the other stats which are fantastic, and I've got to look at with this card, I've got the anchor chem style on, it's acceleration, 77, with the anchor chem style goes up by 5, very impressed with that, the sprint speed of course is 80 again, with the anchor chem style goes even higher, the shot power, 88, if you do get a chance in the final third, which he did a couple of times for me, just bloody shoot man, he's got the shot power there of 88, despite the 60 finishing that he does possess, and 80 long shots as well, he's not too shabby from range, but he isn't like the most accurate, I should say that. Short pass of 83 for those 1-2s and one not very, very important. And long pass of 79, the dribbling category, 80 agility, 81 balance, great for getting out of tight situations and whatnot. 77 reactions, 82 ball control, 73 dribble, and he's not a dribble on his game. Let's face it, lads, he's a CDM and a CDM only. Don't play him centre mid, play him CDM, but sometimes, he ventures forward. I've got him. Well, obviously he's got a medium attack and work rate. You see him going Yeri here and do score the goal there in the background. So sometimes he does venture forward a little too far forward. So his attacking position isn't great. So he just kind of floats over the attacking third. But once you lose the ball, once you lose possession. He's back in a position. It's like a snapback. One of those like uh, elastic bands. He just snaps back in a position every single time. It is uh, sensational. It really, really is. As his second goal he did score for me was from the penalty spot. In terms of defending category, which will interest you the most, he's got 84 interceptions, 68 head accuracy, 82 marking, 85 stand tackle and slide tackle. And a physical 88 jump and 94 stamina. Very important with the card as well. 79 strength. And as you can see, I've got strength as a corner. Why is it a con? I'll let you know in just a second. You see the pass through to Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry goes through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Should be scoring there, man. It's a terrible, terrible miss. He's also got 87 aggression. And this way, it's... um. <laughs> The, the difference between aggression and strength comes in this case. Aggression is uh, the ability to close down opponents very quickly and uh, you come out with the ball more often than not in 50-50 situations. That's not mentioned in strength there. It's not mentioned in strength, so the aggression is fantastic with this card. And because of that, he wins a lot of tackles. And because of that, his tackling with a stand tackle of 85 is very good with the card. So he is good in that sense as a score. A terrible goal there in the background. So aggression and tackle and two pros that I want to talk about straight away. Sensational, that's all I'm gonna say. And in terms of cons, lads, I've got strength in there, simply because when he was kind of shoulder to shoulder with the opponent, he'd lose the ball, he'd lose that kind of physical confrontation, which I didn't like with the card. I really, really didn't. But the aggression is sensational. When he goes in for a challenge, it normally comes out with Jefferson Lerma, and I did enjoy that about the card. Defensive positioning. On point every single time. His defensive position stat is the interception stat, I do believe. And of course, he's got the work rates of medium to high. Sensational. He's always in the right place. At the right time to tackle, to close down the players. And he does a great job at that. And speaking of how closing down players and whatnot, 
that's where the pace comes in. Uh, that's where the acceleration comes in. That's where the sprint speed comes in because to close down players like the fastest, like a Makaleli, for example, or a Kante, uh, you need good acceleration and sprint speed. It's just in there like swimwear every single time. Uh, it's just bang, got the ball, bang, got the ball. But like I said, if he's on the dribble or anything like that, he will get pushed off the ball. And um, that clip I just showed you right there, I wanted to show you that because it, um, it goes to show how good his agility and balance are. If he does sit like... Um, uh, I don't know how to kind of push this across to you guys. See if you you hold one hand up right now. You get the other hand and put it like adjacent to that one. See if you want to turn and you go past the other hand with your right hand and your left hand's there static. And he doesn't have good agility. He's not going to turn very, very quickly in order to catch his opponent up. However, he's got the agility. He'll turn on the spot and he will chase down the opponent. It is very good. And the agility should be amongst the pros. It is really good in the balance as well of 81. The stamina, 94, he never runs out of steam. From minute one to minute 90, even 120, if you want to push in the foot champions, he would be that good. 94 stamina, very, very impressive. And as you've seen in the clips I've uh, well, provided so far, his passing is tremendous. You see a pass on this page, short pass especially, he will reach the target with his 83 short pass and 79 long passes, the cons. And this is where I could be talking about a lot of nothing for pr pretty much ever, really. Um... Strength. The strength is a con. The strength is a con simply because what I've explained so far. The composure. Now this is where it gets interesting. He's got 67 composure, but I want to add to that. Composure and vision. His vision is 72. Then imagine a circle around your player right now. A circle gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it reaches like um, zero. I, well, it reaches 99 or something like that. Um, say you've got a circle that expands massively. That's your vision. That's your composure. Composure especially. The, it's your ability to perform under pressure, whether it be on the pass, the shot, or the dribble. And um, Jefferson Lerma, on a pass, shot, and dribble, he's under pressure a lot of the time. So you've got to kind of get the ball out of his feet quickly. You can't really travel with the ball too much with Jefferson Lerma because that circle around the player is very, very small. Well, yeah, it's very, very small, simply because he's only got 67 composure. In terms of vision, that's for the passing as well. The field of vision that he's got it's very small as well, it's only 72, so composure is, uh, like I said, the ability to perform under pressure, and he doesn't perform under it too well, see, he goes one on the keeper, he's gonna miss, but obviously he's gonna miss, he's 60 uh, finishing, if he's in that area, I'm gonna question, why the hell is he in that in area in the first place, because he shouldn't be, so composure is a con with the card, because it does affect his ability to pass, and dribble, and when you do get the ball, you normally gotta get like out of it straight away, you've gotta release the ball instantly, so um, yeah, composure is a Caught along with the strength. So let's get into uh, the, the overall rating with the card. Like I said, he only cost six foot swap items, and the overall rating will be uh, an 8.6. I reckon this card is sensational. For a free card, well, it's not exactly a free card. He's, um, if you did the SPCs, he's not a free card. If you don't do the SPCs, he is a free card. So that's why the value of cons is a 10 out of 10, because I reckon if you don't do the SPCs and whatnot, you can still get this card by doing like the weekly objectives, by doing um, squad, uh, squad, I always call it squad battle challenges. Um, squad battles, you can do squad battles and uh, get it out of that. So um, it is effectively a free card. I did the SPCs, I wanted to get this card quickly. I wanted to experience this card quickly. I wanted to get my thoughts out to you guys. And I think I've done that in this review. It's going to be overall rating of an 8.6, like I did say. He's a great card. Jill Voji, I think, got an 8.8. Jill Voji, when I did play him, he impressed me that little bit more than Jefferson Lerma. But you've got to like, admit with Jill Voji, um, he, I don't know, man. I don't know. He, he attacks more than uh, Jefferson Lerma. That's what I will give about Jill Voji. And Jill Voji in the final third, he's, Jill Voji is more of a centre midfielder. Lerma, on the other hand, is more of a CDM. So, in terms of position, uh, Gilles Vaudry would get less rating in terms of CDM, uh, Jefferson Lerma would get less rating in centimeter. So uh, for a CDM on this game, 8.6 is very, very good for myself. Enjoy my rating 8.8 .8 because he kept the fort, man. Although in most of the games I was losing, I've been playing terrible recently. It's uh, it's ridiculous. I can't find which formation is working for me since this new patch. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a thing I'll leave for another video, perhaps. But uh, in terms of enjoyment rating, I did enjoy the, my experience with this card, and I will be using them again, especially in Premier League squad builders, or if I can, like, change my team to fit Jefferson Lerma in, uh, Jefferson Lerma will play. He, he'll definitely play, man. He definitely will. Foot champs ready. 8 out of 10 stars in that, I reckon. In foot champions, if you've got a Jefferson Lerma, 
you're gonna use them. If you've got like an untradeable club, this guy's gonna be a number one. He's gonna be at the forefront of your thoughts to get into your squad. Now, in terms of similar players, we have Gilles himself, we have Carnsey, and we have uh, Thomas Party. Or is it just Thomas? I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Thomas Party. But um, yeah, we've got Gilles Borgi, Carnsey, and Thomas in there. In terms of the key product, it will be the defensive positioning on the card. Medium and high work rates are so good with this card, especially the CDM. And his interceptions, his stamina, his marking, his slide side. The stand tackle sensational with the card as well. And um, yeah, the key con will be that composure because you've got to get rid of the ball the second you get it. I don't always like that with my CDMs. I want them to have a little bit of time on the ball and pass it to a fullback or a centre back or another centre midfielder. Not be rushed into making a pass straight away. And that's what you've got to do before you get closed down and uh, the pressure starts affecting these stats and whatnot because. Just imagine the stats start, start uh, they don't deplete, but you can just imagine they do once um, the composure kind of does set in uh, and that circle gets smaller and smaller. In terms of the best game style, we'll get an anchor from myself because it improves the pace, the defending and physical, and that's what he's already got. But if you can enhance it even more, more power to you, more power to you, and that is great in terms of what I wanted from the card. I wanted to be an all-out CDM, and he was great at doing that. The perfect uh, link to this card, there is no perfect link, so which brings another problem to the card. Link-wise, you've got to go Premier League, or you've got to get in the strong link, which is Davinson Sanchez, or Joshua King. You can get Joshua King in there as well, but for me, it would be the other Colombian, which is Davinson Sanchez in the Premier League. He has UCL live item, which I do believe is in for an upgrade, because Tottenham did, uh, they qualified for the next round, didn't they? I'm pretty damn certain they did. And in terms of the weak link, 4 2 3 one, you and Fabino. oh yes, let me have some of that, because that would be outrageous, man. Having large and small-ish, and um, having two powerhouses CDMs, that would be amazing in the 4 2 3 one. So perfect link, there is no perfect link. Strong link would be Davinson Sanchez or Joshua King. And the weak link, I'd go for Fabino because Kante and uh, Lerma would probably be like two pieces in a pod. It would be very, very similar players. And um, they probably wouldn't thrive together. But, lads, that's going to be it for this review. The review you've been asking for for so damn long. What I want from you is what I said at the very start of this video, to bring the hype. Let's see the hype in the comments. Let's see the hype on the likes. Let's see the hype in general, lads. So if you have enjoyed, smash a like on this video. 1,000 is your target. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.